time has forgotten a lot of media over the years. The majority of movies made before 1950? Gone. Old compositions that weren't from the Box or the Mozarts? Lost. Centuries of human history are simply inaccessible because there was nobody that cared enough to chronicle it. So to save society, I'm playing Codename Steam, I guess. Codename Steam was an experimental new strategy game from the people behind Fire Emblem and Fire Emblem, but worse. I vaguely remember reading about the game's announcement, but when it came out, it felt like nobody cared. To put it into context, I see more YouTube content for Mary Kate and Ashley's Sweet 16 License to Drive. That is not a joke. That is real. You see, the game has a lot of strange niche elements to it, like steampunk, American literature, uh, being a Nintendo published game, game that, that sold, sold under a quarter million copies. copies. I bought a copy new for seven dollars. I made an entire company's week. What have you done today? Now I'm aware this isn't even the biggest Nintendo published disaster of 2015. Hey, I'm the ghost of a video game. Pretty original, right? Now, is it better to be remembered and ridiculed or forgotten and just left alone? I don't know, dude. I'm not famed philosopher Socrates. In this game, you play a 17-year-old college prospect, Greg Smith, hoping to pass the time with some good old gotcha. The game actually takes place entirely inside the comic book, so this first part, <laughs> just forget about it, idiot. Yo, but seriously, why does this first part even exist? Are they taking plot cues from the script of Cheetah Men? Hey wacky gamers, forget about this video and watch this other better video within this video. I've learned this technique from Codename Steam. Thanks. The game starts off with some sort of event in London, getting interrupted by aliens. Our first two playable characters are Henry Fleming and John Henry. They kinda front-loaded the Henry content here, so if you're a late-game fan and a Henry fan, I'm so sorry. But anyways, this comic book art style... I don't think it looks good. Like on a 3DS screen where the image is shrunk down and running at 60 FPS, it looks fine. But compared to Nintendo's other offerings on the console... Okay. I'll give you that. Every playable character here is based on a work of classic American fiction like Fire Emblem. Don't let him get to you. I'm Henry. This here's John. It's a pleasure. Are you sure about that? Oh, and Abraham Lincoln is alive still. Don't worry, after the Civil War, he decided that announcing we're going into another war would be too alarming. So he faked his death. The story is just so bland. Go here. Oh, there's a distress call, sir. Oh, a new agent. Let's banter with you a bit. Oh, you're from that book I know. It's like if you went on a superhero movie binge and you skipped everything that wasn't a Stanley cameo. Your only takeaway would be you saw Stan Lee a lot. My first impressions of the gameplay were honestly quite good, but eventually the core gameplay grinded on me. How it works is the map is divided into grid-based squares and moving a space takes up a unit of steam. You can also spend steam by firing your weapon, which is aggressive, but it takes up a lot of your movement resources. So you have to carefully consider when to move up and fire or when to hang back and activate overwatch mode. Which in addition to being an easy joke I'm not going to make, it allows you to hit enemies on their turn if they walk into your range. Enemies can do this too, so sometimes you gotta find a way to draw them out, making for some cool feeling moments. This is outweighed by the frustration of walking around a corner, getting hit, trying to get back around the corner, getting hit again because the camera won't reset. Ooh, sorry, that guy is very dead. Today we stand in solace of a guy whose camera was just not on his side. It was me. I died. The camera wasn't on my side. Not you too! But if that happens, you can still revive teammates through these save points which are super broken. They instantly heal up, steam up, and revive your party for probably less than it costs in real life. I don't know, I can't say I'm aware of how much Eldritch Hell Arts cost. There's also special moves that can only be used once per map, but they don't use up any steam. 
They're unique by character and vary in strength greatly, but as a general rule. Defense? Bad. Offense? Very cool. I said before that the game is grid based, but that's not entirely true. Like I can hit this alien here, but not here. And I hit my teammate here, but not here. What? This is one of Codename Steam's biggest issues, hit detection. If you're lining up a particularly tight shot, enemies or allies idle animations can bob them in and out of the line of fire. Also sometimes this can just happen. You know, they just weren't feeling it. Now, I'm not an Alpha Chad shooter guy, but I assume tight shots are fine in a genre about precision. But ma'am, this is a turn-based strategy game. I shouldn't have to just jiggle around my aim for minutes just to get the maximum possible value. And it also doesn't help that the camera controls are clunky. It feels like there's a minimum distance it always has to travel. It's the worst on these bug enemies. They're small and hard to notice, so a kill on them is a nice bonus, and by nice bonus I mean absolutely mandatory. They seem to like the overwatch mode and while they do zero damage they always stun you causing you to lose your turn. But their hitbox is even smaller than their model and remember what I said about models jumping in and out of the range of fire? Yeah. Also, the system being grid based but technically not does the game more harm than good. Well, a kinda neat idea, I think I can show all the problems from this one moment I experienced. I check and confirm that I can save and refill my steam tanks after firing from this angle. So I use my gun move, turn around, and accidentally hit the circle pad and goodbye hopes and dreams. I'm just ever so slightly corrected and pushed out of save range. So I try to get another unit in there, kinda just do it for me. This big lion man is in the way. So I try to walk around the lion man and I gotta avoid this mine so... Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Now on to characters. Pick Robin, pick Lion or Lucina and you win. Lucina and Lion share kind of the same move but Robin is silly. His range is yes and he does a boatload of AoE damage. And while other characters may have their damage cut by missing a few shots, Robin laughs at that idea that we're all united by. Get this menace off the streets! And the reason I picked Lucina is most missions require you to get to the end with just one character. So I just did this with Lion for a while. So just win. Beat this guy blocking the way? Oh, I'd rather not, thanks. Then I learned Lucina can cheese even harder with her special by doing this. My fate is mine. I like this. This makes me happy. However, probably because of the way I played the other missions, when I had to kill all enemies or any other objective, it just felt like the map struck on and on and on. Speaking of things dragging on, the final boss. This is really the first time where I felt required to use tactics. Like at all, there wasn't an end I could cheese. And then after an hour, I beat him. Then my game crashed. Then I beat him again and I'm locked into one last day battle and the reason I didn't mention them before is they take up 2 to 4 minutes of this 10 to 15 hour game. So you beat the big bad guy and Abe Lincoln gets John Wilkes Mark II'd. Then you face the slowest end credits known to man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is Abe Lincoln alive? Find out in the sequel, which will never come out, I'm being real with you. Overall, this is one of the biggest software failings from Nintendo in recent years. And the only reason I can't say it's the biggest is because Devil's Third exists. Get out of my house! But the fact is, a third party made Devil's Third, and Nintendo didn't advertise it. Like at all. Even then, it seems to be remembered more than codenamed Steam. Not in a favorable way, but isn't it good to be remembered? Again, I'm still not Socrates. No 
matter how hard I try. Hey, thanks for watching the video in this video. Both videos are over now. Bye.